Hey everybody and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Now today we're going to be highlighting a huge reason why a lot of men are done fed up over the whole relationship talk, the whole settling down talk, marriage talk. Oh my gosh, you name it, men are done with it. And it is because a lot of females possess the very mentality, the very position, the very perspective that this woman that I'm getting ready to show on my screen in a second possesses, all right? But before we get started, y'all go ahead and take this time out to like the video, share the video, subscribe, and let's go ahead and share our screen. This young lady here has a few words for, I guess, the expectation that is placed upon women from a lot of men of today. So let's go ahead and run the footage and yeah, let's get into it. Bring to the table for a man. I don't bring shit, not a damn thing. What do you mean bring what to the table? Women are not meant to bring stuff to the table. Women are, women are naturally the table. Men expect for women to prove themselves in this 2023 era. Let's play it again. Very short and sweet, but straight to the point. She is letting y'all know, shut up and down. Look, this is what it is, and this is what it ain't. Again, let's listen. What do you bring to the table for a man? I don't bring shit, not a damn thing. What do you mean bring what to the table? Women are not meant to bring stuff to the table. Women are, women are naturally the table. Men expect for women to prove themselves in this 2023 era. Now... She made it abundantly clear that she does not believe that a woman should have to bring any damn thing to the table whatsoever. You know, you men of today, y'all place way too much emphasis on having a woman to show and prove herself to a man. That's what she said. Okay. Y'all are expecting too much out of women. We are naturally the table. You are naturally supposed to do everything for us while we give you nothing in return, okay? That is her position. And unfortunately, like I just stated, a lot of females feel that way, which is why a lot of men today feel like there is no need to even involve themselves in a relationship. Why would I sign up to be a part of an equation to where all of my needs, all of my wants, all of my expectations are being subtracted? That's not fair. That makes no logical sense whatsoever. I might as well be by myself if I'm going to be a part of a dynamic to where I'm going to be neglected, yet new responsibilities are placed on my plate, on my shoulders. Why would I do that? And so a lot of guys are like, you know what? I'm done with it. And we keep on highlighting this because a lot of women just don't get it. They cannot grasp the idea of men having standards. They cannot fathom a man saying, you know what? I expect for a woman to contribute, whether that be through her love, her support, her submission, her respect. You know, and a lot of females, they just really feel very strongly about not having to do anything while reaping all of the benefits, all of the rewards. And it does not work like that, which is why a lot of men are opting out. It's a no. And unfortunately, a lot of women will have to sit there and be by themselves and struggle by themselves because they don't understand that uh, a relationship involves the participation, the appreciation, the reciprocation of both parties. Again, why would a man in his right damn mind sign up to be used up and discarded of? Let's be honest. That is the position that a lot of women take today when it comes to relationships. Which man will allow me to use him up the most without requiring anything from me 
And then me being able to move it along to the next man that can do even more than he was able to do. That is the position that we take today. When it comes to a lot of women, we're not even thinking long term when it comes to marriage for crying out loud. We talked about that a few months back when we highlighted the, the starter husbands, right? A lot of women have it in their minds, look, I'm going to get with this guy. I'm going to marry this guy, then divorce him a few months later, take half of what he has and be able to use whatever I'm able to strip from him to really give myself a, a nice little cushy foundation to build upon so that I can go and do the next thing to the next man that can offer me more than that last husband could have offered me. And they keep doing this until once again, they feel like they are living a life of luxury off the last man, the next man's dime. That's what women are doing today, which is why a lot of guys, like I just said, they're done. Why would I sign myself up to be used and abused like that? Especially when, you know, you have a female talking about she doesn't owe you anything. She is the table. What? How? You know, and so I, I just really want us to get out of this uh, mentality of because I'm a woman, I don't have to do X, Y, and Z. Because I'm a woman, the man should just take care of me off the rip. Again, no appreciation, no reciprocation, none of that. Just do for me because I'm cute. Now, the woman in this video, she's not an unattractive woman, right? Which is why she finds it necessary for her not to be required to do anything. Let's be real, you all. When it comes to a lot of females that may be somewhat attractive, there are a lot of simp-ass guys that would do things for her that would feed into that narrative of I am the table. So again, y'all, let's be honest. You have this woman here. I'm going to mute it. You have this woman here, right? And I'm sure she has a lot of guys that will offer her a lot. They will make it their duty, their responsibility, their obligation to splurge on this woman, spoil this woman, because they're looking at her like, oh, well, she looks good. Now, I can appreciate the fact that this, the, the simp pool is draining, the simp pool is dwindling down, but nonetheless, you still do have a lot of these Weak ass guys out there that just see a woman with a pretty face, a nice body, you know, that is maybe semi flirting with him or giving him any kind of attention. So it's like, yeah, I'm going to cash out on her in the hopes of me being in a relationship with her or getting sexual favors from her, whatever, spending time with her, whatever. And so a lot of guys, unfortunately, that would fall under the simp category would feed into this woman's mind that her thinking process and pattern is acceptable. It's okay. That's why she possesses that mentality in the first place, because she has dealt with simp ass guys that have given her everything. They're all for nothing in exchange, nothing in return. Not even a thank you. I guarantee you. She's like, oh, well, I'm cute. And I was able to have this guy do this, that, and the third for me. And I didn't have to do anything for him. And I didn't have to give anything to him. So what makes you so special? Oh, uh, you thought that I would do X, Y, and Z for you when I've had other guys in the past that have given me and offered me more and I didn't do anything for them? So that's where that thought process comes into play. That's where, you know, you have a lot of females that really have it in their mind doing anything for a man is just out of bounds, off limits, not doing it, which is why I also believe that we should start calling out more of these simp ass guys that are contributing to 
these females feeling like they can be selfish, they can be entitled, they can be neglectful, they can be disrespectful. You know, that's not how we are going to be able to progress forward and build upon healthy, strong foundations between men and women if we are coming into that dynamic from a very surface level, very superficial, very selfish place. You know, you should know as a grown man or a grown woman that you do have to contribute. You do have to add on value. You, you do have to add on to the person's life in a positive way that you are dealing with. There's no handouts in a relationship, you know, especially considering the fact that when it comes to women, we are not going to be doing things for a man if he's not doing anything for us. I guarantee to you this same female will have a huge problem, a huge issue if a man was just reaping all of the benefits and all the awards of being with her without um, her getting anything in return. I guarantee you. Where is my reward for this? Where are you pouring in to me? What have you done for me? So for the life of me, I don't understand how we as women cannot um, really process that thought pattern. Like, come on. Like, that's just common human decency. If you're with somebody, appreciate them. Pour into them. And they should be doing the same thing in return. And if they're not, deuces, you know? Nobody should have to be dealing with a person to where they're only being drained. That's not a relationship, okay? So you all, let's get this together. Ladies, let's get this together. A man is not obligated just because you are a woman to do all of these grand things for you, especially if you're not doing a damn thing in return for him, all right? But y'all let me know y'all thoughts, feelings, uh, and perspective down below. We accept all different perspectives. All that we ask is that you be respectful. All right. Um, but yeah, let me know. Have you dealt with a female like this, you know, to where she was very entitled and selfish and she didn't feel like she had to reciprocate and pour back into you? Ladies, do you agree with her? Do you feel like the woman is the table and we do not have to do anything for a man? All right. But y'all let us know your thoughts, opinions, and feelings down below. And I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.